what's cracking YouTube, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto and today I'm making a video for another YouTuber by the name of Rag Boys. I'm going to link his channel in the description box below. Now, um, in his most recent video, in his vlog, he's talking about he has some shoulder injury, right? Possibly due from um, weightlifting, okay? Now, because shoulder injuries are the most common injury in either weightlifting or athletic training, it's probably the most awkward injury, okay? Because it's even hard for physicians at times to even pinpoint the exact injured um, area within the shoulder because the shoulder is, is a very complex uh, area, especially the joint and how everything uh, and all the muscles are connected around the joint. You know, you got the front part of the, um, the shoulder, the side and the back and the muscle that actually connects into the muscle. I mean, I mean I'm talking, man, there is a lot to go on about this shoulder itself. I mean, the shoulder itself would take literally about one hour of classroom time just to even talk about the muscles surrounding the um, the joint. And, and, and if you got a a very detailed professor, it will take you another hour just to talk about the joint itself. So, with that being said, now, you know, because it is the most reoccurring and the most common injury, right, it's an pigment injury, um, the only thing you can do when it comes to um, helping relieve the pain from uh, the shoulder it's mostly uh, rest. It's mostly rest because if you don't let your shoulder rest, it's uh, you, you can be permanently damaged. This is you gotta remember the shoulder is the workhorse to the entire body, upper body. This is what makes your arms go. This is what makes you pull and push, lift things over your head. You think it's your tricep, you think it's your bicep, you think it's your forearms, you think it's your chest, you think, no, it's really your shoulders, man. Your shoulders are doing all the work, believe it or not. So, if you want to help um, heal that injury of yours, okay, if you want some, whatever, whichever, whichever shoulder that hurts, okay, it's best to go ahead and massage it. I mean, self-massage is cool if you got a lady friend. Go ahead and um, have your lady friend go ahead and massage the area. Also, rotator cuff um, exercise, okay? And I don't want you to use any weights. So I want you want to do, lift your arm out and just go ahead and just go forward in little circles and then try to widen it out and then go in full rotation, okay? And same thing when it goes to like this. A lot of people don't do it like this. It actually does help the rotator cuff. So just go back, it's like a windshield wiper effect. Also, up and down, up and down. I mean, just do variations of it, but the most one that's most important is going forward and also going backwards, okay? So you want to go in little circles until the big circles, and same thing. And it's also going to help develop some of the uh, smaller muscles. But at the same time, you can actually feel, if you have an injury, you can actually feel um, with this ro uh, rotation right here yeah you can feel the rotation when you're doing it you should be able to feel the pain and when it does and I will promise you if you go to the physician or to a doctor or something they're gonna make you do this exercise I need you to go in a, in a forward motion like this and they're gonna tell you where it, where does it hurt stop when it hurts when it goes like back here oh that's where it hurts and then he can already tell which muscle um, it, it, it's damaged. If it's not the muscle, it's probably the joint itself. I mean, there's a lot of variation variables in, in in a shoulder injury. Okay. Like I said, go ahead and take yourself some ibuprofen. You know, I wouldn't recommend you any like outrageous numbers. So just go ahead and just take your 250 milligrams of ibuprofen. And if your doctor tells you to take more, I guess you got to follow the uh, doctor's recommendation. But that's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you that to help you um, heal your shoulder injury. If not, just get like um, 
uh, or shoulder rest, you know, hanging over your neck. You know, you can use a towel, t-shirt, whatever, you know, just wrap it around, you know, your freaking such and such, and then just have your arm just pretty much, you know, uh, resting, man, so that way your, your shoulder gets time to heal because, like I said, the shoulder is the workhorse to your entire upper body. So you continue making it work, it's going to continue getting damaged. That's all I can say, though, for reals. Anyways, man, hopefully this, uh, this message or this advice can help you out, buddy. It's your boy, Jason Yamamoto, and I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. Nice. Breathe. Breathe.